So today we're going to show you how to wire in a moisture sensor uh, to the, any of the NLC controllers. And the process is you want to make sure you identify the equipment. This is an SMI 232 board that's going to mount on the standoffs in the controller. And this is the actual moisture sensor. And you can put 10 of these out in the field. What you have to remember though is these have to be pre-programmed from the factory before you get them. So these are identified 1 through 10. Let me show you how to mount the SMI now and then we'll go from there. The standoffs are on all NLC controllers. They're all standard. You're going to have two screws. You do not have to over tighten the screws. You just need to install them snugly. Once I've done that, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to identify the power source, which is this Molex cable here, and I'm going to plug it into the board, and we're going to see a few lights go on. So what I've done is I plugged it in now. This SMI board is the interface board between the field uh, moisture sensors and the controller itself. The wire that's used to install moisture sensors is a specific wire. It's a double jacketed twisted pair wire. It's going to have this cable on the end. Make sure you pay attention to the wiring detail. That is provided with all instructions. They wire a specific way. This is going to come up through the bottom in a conduit and it's going to slip right in here. So future reference, you do not have to get a small screwdriver and dig this out here. You can actually pull this off, put your wires in properly, and it's installed. We are now ready to go out to the field to install the actual moisture sensor. So now that we've completed the first step, which is putting the interface board at the controller, we're not out in the field now, and we've selected this plant bed here, and the depth of the moisture sensor is going to be determined by the plant material that you're monitoring. So you can put this down three feet if you want for the trees. You can put it short for these little uh, plants here. So what I'm going to do now is we've dug a hole and we buried the trench, and I always recommend you leave a little slack here so you can actually move it around. So we're going to install it, and I want to go down six to eight inches. It's installed six to eight inches, and I'm going to backfill. And what I always recommend is after it's backfilled is pour a lot of water on it and make sure it's set in. So as you can see now, it's properly installed to monitor this plant bed. Once it's set in and uh, it's been determined that it's a proper place, you want to create some kind of an as-built so you know exactly where the moisture sensor is. So now we'll go back to the valve box where we have the wire splice and I'll show you how to properly wire it that way. Okay, so we're at the final stage now of completing the installation of a soil moisture sensor. The first step was installing the SMI board at the controller and properly wiring it by colors. The second step was selecting the depth and everything of the moisture sensor out in the field for the plants that we were going to monitor. So now we bring this splice back to a valve box. Everything has to be installed in a valve box and we want 12 to 18 inches of wire. Again, we use the specified double jacketed shielded twisted wire and it's color coded. You want to pay attention to the color coded wire. If it's not wired properly, it will not work. So pay special attention to that. You're going to use the DBRY6 wire connectors with the splice kits. Install them. When you're completed, again, you're going to put it in the valve box, cover it up, and again, go back to your as built and make sure that you log, log where that splice is located in the field. And that's how easy it is to install a soil moisture sensor with the NLC controllers.